Well, the term personal mastery uh, has always been a bit difficult. And again, it really has to do with ambiguity in language. The term master has two very different meanings. And I suspect that's just as true in French as it is in English. So there's master and slave, or the master of the house. Um, but also we have in English the phrase master craftsperson. Someone who has developed a level of proficiency in a domain, a craft or an art. You could say this person has a very high level of mastery. So you see it's a very different use of the word. So um, I think that it, words are just words. So we always have to find whatever are the most effective words in different contexts, in different cultural settings. So we always make care in English to say, well, we, we're using mastery as you would use it in, a, in the arts, the mastery of some domain of artistic expression. So, uh, but the, the term is very simple. You know, the, the reason we stuck with the term mastery is that we are really anchoring this whole discipline in the creative arts. You know, what's my ability to bring something into reality? And so um, personal alignment is good, but it's more focused on the internal aspects. Um, but it's the expression. And alignment is a good term, I think, in terms of are my words and actions aligned? So in that sense, it's not just internal, it's the interface of the internal and the external. But ultimately, the term personal mastery is to make, try to point us at the creative orientation. I may be very aligned, but I actually may not be very skillful in creating. So that's the reason we ended up using, staying with the term. We're trying to keep it anchored in this capacity to bring things into reality, to create. Um, so I, I think there's kind of a continuum there. There's the, the, the inner values, the inner vision, there's the alignment of the inner and my behavior, but ultimately, how useful is all of it? You know, I always consider myself ultimately a pragmatist. What gets accomplished? And I always think that there is an aspect of reality that's terribly important. If we want to really know how we think, look at how we act, and then look at what we create, what gets manifest. So that's really why we ended up never giving up on the term personal mastery. But I understand entirely why people may want to be very careful in its use, because you want to be careful not to drift into that misunderstanding that it's about someone being master over another.